What we're going to do is we're going to build a ramp into the back of the pickup. Look at this. So this is a 500 pound bit of wood. No way. I <laughs> think <laughs> <laughs> coming into there 50 miles an hour on the downhill bike. Just... Dropping. Right, I've just been inspired. I've just watched Sam Pilg's MTV Hopper kick around. I thought, like, actually, that's quite cool. So I thought I might go for my own debatably more upmarket version. We've got the wood, we've got a Land Rover. His had wheels on it, didn't it? Yeah. So ours has got four wheels on it. Off road, fully capable, custom paint job, nice lights, Land Rover Defender 90 pickup. What we're going to do is we're going to build a ramp into the back of the pickup. That's going to be in two parts. So what the, the top part is going to stay in the back of the pickup. Clean that out, make it all nice. And the bottom part is going to be detachable. So it'll like, oh, maybe on hinges even, swing up and just in there. So we can just drive around anywhere we want and just like sling it out, up we go. Into over houses, up onto banks, into banks anywhere we want actually so I spoke to my trusty brother who him and Ollie Wilkins built all like the ramps and everything for like Taxco and all those downhill all those like street races Christian has advised me to build it normally on the floor like just build it flat and then cut it out and put it in afterwards but I'm thinking that's quite a waste of wood because I'm gonna have to like cut a big wedge out to slide it into the back but he normally knows what he's doing but I'm thinking like put a bit of bit of OSB in the back like that. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. I think clean all the crap out of the back. <laughs> We've got old cups and... Sparkling, always oh, those some coffees, we like our coffee. Bits of, bits of Troy Lee, bits and bobs. We'll clean that out, yeah. Then take this off and then line it up, eye it up and see where we're gonna be. Cause obviously it can only be, the ramp can only be wherever the tape measure is that wide. It's going to be quite a snipery little taker when you're bombing in. First job, off the tailgate. Oh, that's so easy, I thought I was going to have to undo both. Off with that. Well, I think I'm going to go against what people have told me and build it bespoke in the back and not build it on the ground and cut it out after. Yeah, I'm going to do that. 1.2. Yeah, we're going to cut it. We're going to cut this in half and then use one of these either side, make this bit first, and then we'll go on from there. It's got me downhill running into it. Obviously, you can't, well you could pedal into it, but it'd be pretty lame. But yeah, I don't really know where we're going to take it, but that's just a good thing. If you've got anywhere good, give us a call because this is going to be the bomb. And we need places to ride it and flip it and do all sorts of stuff. Oh, are you calling a flip? Yeah, I'll flip it, yeah. <laughs> I went through it, but yeah. Well, Mike. It's looking quite shit so far. Proper ghetto build. It won't be. It's going to be a trick build. It's narrow, I must say. Yeah, that's going to be quite a sniper, isn't it? If you're coming in like 50 miles an hour. This is that looking at you. It's about six foot lip. So we're doing feet and meters here, which is UK as F. No, UK AF. Six foot ramp there, but we're going to do a six meter radius of this line, which means we're going to get a bit of string six metres long in a minute. Just get a pencil, find the middle point six metres from there and just run it up like that. You see what I mean? Like keep the, pen, keep the, the string on the pencil and just run it and mark it. And that's literally how you get the radius of the ramp. But we'll do that in a minute. But I've been advised six metre radius for a six for this. But let's get another bit on the bottom and see how it looks. Sam Pilg in his popper ramp. <laughs> do one. Look, so this is going to be like this bit's gonna stay in the van, stay in the in the pickup, that bit, and then 
this bit they're extending on now, look, I'm going to make a little bit wider so it's going to slot down the sides and this bit will be, the bit will have to like fold up onto the back or whatever. A bit of string six metres long, which is mega long. I guess six metres from wherever we want to start. So like from, so like there, put a bit of string there. And then I'll stand six metres away and then you'll just like go around the string like that. See what I mean? Okay, yeah. I'll go get some string. I think that's what they mean. Well, so, because we're idiots and we thought we knew better, <laughs> I was like, six metres seems crazy. So I was so far away from you on the end of the string. I was like, no way. So we did, I did three. And three metres is like a vert ramp. This one here, is so steep that's three meters um when i say three meters i mean like the string is three meters that's a three meter radius then we went for this this was like my original line that i just penciled in that i thought would be about a right a right sort of nice line and we've just done four and a half meter radius which has put us almost in the middle so i think we are going to go for six meter radius <laughs> So what you said, we were spot on when we first made it, we just didn't believe it was right. No. Well, there we are. Let's try a six metre radius right now. That's six, yeah? Yeah, okay, hang on. Let go of the tape. <laughs> Go, baby boy. Living on our original line. It's still short. It's sort of in between. There we are. Okay. Like. Yeah, it's still in between. Okay, try it again. I'll stand here. Yeah, nice smooth line, Benny boy. Similar to our other one? It's slightly lower, but very close. Yeah! There we are. Oh! A little bit wacky at the top, but <laughs> I'm up for it. Now we've got a clear line. Kind of clear, I mean. You've got a bit sort of <laughs> Parkinson's y at the top, but. This is a 500 pound bit of wood. No way. <laughs> 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 I don't claim to be a builder by any means, but this is trick. <laughs> this is trick as you <laughs> like. I mean, look at that bit of engineering, Benny boy. Whoa. That's I, not I'm, bad. I'm chuffed the nuts with that. Should we cut the other side out and then we start blending it in? Because obviously the bit in the back is staying in the back, and this is just like oh, it's like a little mini booter amp by itself. Another spicy send. Oh, another spicy send of 6,000. Let's get the other side cut and then we can bolt them together and start building the ramp, actually. We're, 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 let's, get, let's get it done before the darkness comes. Oh. How good is this looking? I mean, this is looking mega. The Land Rover mega ramp. We literally do now. Just need to find stuff to jump over. We're losing the light. We're losing light quick. And it's supposed to be so, such bad rain tomorrow. So we are, yeah, we'll say rushing a little slightly. But, let's just 
whack that on in there. And then one the other side. How are we getting on, Benny boy? Yeah, we are getting there. Doing the final bit. Are you a builder now, are you? Yeah, yeah, certified. Yeah, that is the builder's bub. Oh, we missed it. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't two hours ago, but I am now. Wicked. So that's going to go at the bottom there. Yeah. And then yeah. we're almost there, look. I think so. The Land Rover Kicker Ramp 5000. Oh no, 6000. Woohoo! We're on phone light, are we? Yeah. <laughs> and that security light's gone out as well. But, we've literally on the final stage, final leg. Look at this. I'm gonna bang one in there, hope for the best. Right, what I'll do is I'll score that underneath, that like cut through that bit halfway. So then it like has a bit of a bump at the bottom. Can't do that. But I mean, we need some slight adjustments, but we have a Land Rover mega portable mega ramp. Is that not the sickest thing ever? Oh my god, I cannot wait to smash it. They're coming into there 50 miles an hour on the downhill bike. Just... <sighs> Done. Sick. So stoked. Let me pull that away. Is that bit annoys me at the bottom? That bit doing that annoys me. And I do you know what, I think the radius is slightly wrong. I'm going to go over it again with the pencil and make it just perfect. But for an evening's work, that is sick. Please comment where you think we can take this bad boy. I think it's lined up pretty good to jump straight over there. The house. <laughs> Or the garage, or anywhere. We just this thing can just go anywhere. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tighten that up a bit, make it a little bit of a nicer radius. Then we're done. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Hey. Yeah. This is a 500 pound bit of wood. No way. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>